welcome to your Palpate Dumbbell Integration Workout with myself, Caroline Pierce, and I'm joined with Sylvie Patrick, who will be showing the modification versions of each of the exercises. Whenever you work out on Palpate, I want you to drink plenty of water and make sure when you're standing on the platform, you have a slight bend in your knees. Our first exercise will be for 45 seconds, and there will be 30 second exercises thereafter. All you need is a set of dumbbells. Set your machine to a nine minute running clock, and let's get going. So pick up your dumbbells, and I want you to stand on the platform with your feet shoulder width apart, and we're gonna do a squat matrix. So dumbbells by your side, we're gonna start with a neutral foot position for one, two, three, and then right foot forward, one, two, three. Left foot forward, one, two, three. Now we're gonna go wide, one, two, and three. Now narrow, one, two, three. Toes turned out. One, two, and three. Ten, toes turned in. One, two, three. Now back to neutral. Right foot forward. Left foot forward. Let's take it wide. Take it narrow. Toes facing inwards. Toes facing outwards. Okay, let's move it on. We're gonna walk now into a plank position. Dumbbells onto the platform. Okay, nice strong body position. Regression will be with Sylvia and she'll be with her knees on the floor. From here, you're gonna alternate dumbbell rows. So starting with the right, we're gonna lift and pull behind us, switch to the left. So alternating sides. Keep really strong through your core. Contract the glutes, keep them tight. And feel that rotation around your core. Remember to breathe through the movement. Last five seconds. Okay, up we go, back onto the platform. We're gonna do a squat with alternating reaches with those dumbbells. So we'll start by reaching forwards with the right hand. So squat and reach and alternate to the left, that's it. Keep pushing forward as you squat. Now we're gonna reach out wide, starting with the right arm. So reach, that's it. One side to the other, working for range. Really squatting deep into that position as you go. Okay, now we're gonna rotate across the body, starting with the left arm and rotate. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, feeling a little bit of rotation around the body. For the last three seconds, two, and one. Now we're going to move into a split squat with lower reaches. So Sylvia's going to do the modified version where she puts a step in place to support the back leg. So on the step or on the floor, right foot forward, and with the dumbbells at hip height, we're going to reach forward, and then to the right, and then to the left. Okay, back to the front. Forward, to the right, to the left. Forward, to the right, to the left. Just trying to increase the depth again of the movement as you lunge forward. Increase the reach a little bit. Last 10 seconds. Should start to feel your quadricep burning a little bit at this point. <laughs> Keep it going. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, switch legs. Left foot forward this time. Exactly the same pattern. From here, we're gonna to start to reach. If we go forward, to the right, to the left. Forward, to the right, to the left. So the weight's staying over that front foot. Forward, right, and left. Keep alternating. Again, increase the depth, increase the reach. Last 10 seconds. Keep it going, last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, well done. Now we're gonna step onto the platform, keeping hold of your dumbbell. You can move the step out of the way if you were doing the modified version. In a single leg balance position, dumbbells now at shoulder height, we're going to alternate and reach them up, up, side, side, rotate, rotate. Up, up, side, side, rotate, rotate. You should have it now. <laughs> Follow the pattern. Keep that slight bend in the leg. Halfway. <laughs> no worries if you go off balance. That's what the platform's designed to do. 
So we're challenging our stabilizers around the ankle, the knee, and the hip. Last two, one, and relax. Okay, I want you to switch legs now. Shake out the legs if you need to. Get your balance foot in the middle of the platform, slight bend in that knee, and again, we're gonna go up, up, out, out, and across the body. <laughs> up, up, out, out, and across the body. Okay, you got the routine now. You can slow it down if you need to. And again, if that foot needs to touch down just to get your balance, feel free to do so. Last three, two, one, and relax. Good job, guys. I can't wait to turn now into a squat position with bicep matrix. So we're gonna squat and we're gonna lift to the right bicep curl, left curl. So alternate sides as you go, squatting and lifting, curling that bicep. Give another three seconds and then we're gonna switch it up. Now into a reverse curl with the right. So, reverse curl to the right. So really facing that dumbbell up and out. Okay, now across the body with the right. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, all the way to the end. Give me another three seconds, two, one, and relax. Okay, same thing now, we're gonna do the squat but with a tricep matrix. So back into that squat position, we're gonna squat and drive that tricep behind. So really extend the arm to feel that tricep activating, that's the back of your arm. Okay, now we're gonna take it out wide with the right. So extend behind the body, a little bit out to the side, alternating sides. Now we're gonna rotate that around the body. So take that right one, there we go. And extend and rotate around the back of the body for the last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now step off your plate and I'm gonna do a rotational lunge jump with reach while Sylvia do a step up version. So it looks like this, holding the dumbbells, you're gonna jump across, reach, and back or step. Okay, keep it going. A little bit of spring in your step. Hold the pretension as you jump onto the platform, just a second or two, and jump back again. Use the dumbbell to assist the movement and get that rotation with that foot facing outwards as you jump. We're over halfway. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Switch sides, of course, <laughs> for the last one. Okay, exactly the same thing now, but we're going in the other direction. So get your coordination right. It's a jump and back. You ready to step, jump, and back. So it's gonna be one side that feels slightly more difficult than the other. You can go for a bit more range with your jump, even better. Halfway. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax and get ready for some stretches. Join me now by placing the dumbbell on the floor. And we're gonna do a lat stretch now for 60 seconds. I'm on the floor and I'm gonna do an active version of this stretch. Sylvie's using the handles for her stretch. So arms out front. And just pushing, dipping the shoulders into the movement. You should be feeling that stretch here along your lats. I'm going to start to alternate which side I'm pushing now, from the left to the right, left to the right, so my hips can move in the same direction to assist that stretch. Halfway, another 30 seconds. Really sit into it now. I want to see more movement with the hips. Push the hips from side to side. How are you feeling, Sylvie? Very good. <laughs> Last eight. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So our final stretch now, we're gonna stretch, cross arm stretch across the body, 30 seconds each. So again, that same kneeling position, Sylvie again using the handlebars, we're gonna stretch the arm across the body there. 
And again, I can sit into that stretch. Use my hip 30 seconds each side. So again, really use the hips as a driver almost to get more stretch. And I'm feeling this around the shoulder and down my side. Over halfway. Last eight. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and switch arms. We're taking now the left arm across the body. And again, just sit into it wherever it feels comfortable and use the hips to get more stretch, more depth, and to assist your movement. So over halfway. Last five seconds. Three, two, one and you're done. So guys, well done. That is your power plate dumbbell integration workout. Take some water, make sure you're hydrated, and we'll see you for the next one.